Hi, this is Ben Finio from Science Buddies, and this video is a quick introduction to our light following robot project. You can see I have the robot here. It comes as a kit with a plastic body that you can assemble, and then on the top of the robot, we have a battery pack and a breadboard with a circuit on it. You don't need to worry about exactly how the circuit works right now. We'll get to that later. And on the bottom of the robot, we have two motors that drive the robot's wheels and a third wheel that helps keep the robot stable. So if we come back around to the top of the robot, you can see the most important part of the circuit, which is these two light sensors that are sort of sticking up like a little antenna. And what these light sensors do is control the speed of the motors. So when I turn a flashlight on and aim it at the light sensors, you can see in here that the wheels will start spinning. What this allows me to do when I put the robot down is steer it left and right using the flashlight. So you can see that when I put the robot down on the table, I can use the flashlight to drive it around and make it follow the beam. So if you think this looks fun and you would like to build one of these robots yourself, you can follow the written directions for this project that will show you step-by-step -step assembly instructions and explain how the circuit works. You can find the link to the written directions in the description of this YouTube video. You can also use many of the same basic parts to build three different variations of the robot, including a line-following robot, a motion-activated robot, and a remote-controlled robot. See the links in the description of the YouTube video for directions for these projects as well. You can also find directions for over 1,000 other science and engineering projects for school or at home at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.